What's up YouTube? This is your Regret16 coming at you guys with another sneaker review or sneaker pickup video. Uh, as you guys can see, it's another Adidas pickup. Um, so let's get into it. As you guys can see, uh, uh, based on the label, it's the NMD R1 PK, otherwise known as the Nomad Runner uh, PK for Prime Knit. I picked these up in a size 8.5 as my true size is a 9 and these do fit about a half size big so let's get into it uh, for this particular shoe it did release uh, last Friday uh, in my area there's a lot of people that lined up for it and um, it wasn't too bad of a release so this is the Japan uh, no matter in the black colorway. There was also a gray colorway that released that we got in Canada. Um, I wasn't able to get, grab those. And there's also uh, a tan or beige pair that um, was dubbed the Vapor Gray. And those did not release in Canada. I've been told that we're probably be getting it at a later date. So we'll see. So as you guys can see, the shoe features an all black prime knit upper uh, with black stripes here. Uh, the lace, uh, the eye stays are composed of this plastic material that's stitched into the prime knit and features black laces. Uh, and the uh, midsole is composed of these two black rubber pieces here that extend into the midsole for support. Uh, the one on the forefoot actually has Japanese writing on it and from what I understand it says the brand with the three stripes. Uh, similar to uh, the heel tabs. Um, on the back of the shoe you'll also notice that there are um, little like uh, box this is kind of like lines here. Uh, it kind of looks like a viewfinder to me. Um, I'm not sure what it symbolizes exactly but if anyone knows feel free to put it in the comments. Um, it's basically your typical uh, NMD design with the boost cushioning. Uh, in terms of the outsole, it features black rubber with Adidas branding in the midfoot area here. Uh, the medial side is symmetrical to the lateral side uh, minus the uh, support piece in the forefoot area. In terms of the inside of the shoe, it features uh, boost branding in the heel and um, it's the uh, basically signature cushioning system with no insole in it, similar to the Pure Boost. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, were you guys able to grab a pair? Uh, which colorway out of the three did you think was the best one? Uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, like this video if, uh, if you liked it. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching.